Now, as we have created our first AMDP class and we have consumed that through web program by passing single sales order number as an input to the class and getting the output. Now, what we'll do, we'll learn how we can pass table as an input to the class and based on that, fetch the record. So, what I will do for that, we have this class, right? ZMDP01. So, I will make a duplicate of this by right click and duplicate. And here, I'm giving ZMDP02. Okay. Next. Finish. Now, I'm creating a new class, ZMDP02. And I will do some changes in this class. So what I will do, I want to pass table as the input to, the, to this class. So let me first create a type structure. Here, types begin of tp underscore vbeln, end of tp underscore VBELN and I am taking only one field as VBELN and then TT underscore VBELN type is standard table of TP underscore VBELN. Okay, so one type declaration I done with single field will be ELN and I declare one table. Now I want to replace this importing parameter with LT underscore VB ELN as table. Okay. So what I done here, I replace the importing parameter with a table. And now same in the where clause. This we have to replace. Here I will write in space. Here I am selecting in operator. Select all from colon lt underscore vbeln semicolon at the end. See no error. So what we have done in the first class in the first class, I was passing only single sales order number as the input. And based on that, the output was coming. Now, here I am passing input in the form of table. Okay. And that table will come here as an importing parameter. And then, based on that table, here we can pass that table like this in the where clause. Where VB, aka VBLN in, select all. Why select all I am using? Because in this local import table, I have only one field. So I can use like this. I will save, check, contain no error, activate. So my class is ready, ZMDP02. Fine. Now next what I will do, in the same way, I will copy my program. So ZMDP02 we had created earlier, this program. I will make duplicate of the same and I will mark as V1. Okay, next, finish. So I copy that. Now, instead of parameter, what I want this time here, select options. Okay, I want select options. And here, this parameter I will replace by select options. Okay, this is done. And here, first, what I will do? I will select VBELN from VBAK into table at the rate data. This is inline declaration I am using GT underscore VBELN where VBELN in S underscore VBELN 
here I have to use a direct sign host variable. So based on select option, first I am selecting the sales order, valid sales order from VBAK into this inline declaration table. And here if GT underscore VBELN body is not initial. Okay, then only do all this activity. Fine. Till now what I have done? Select option instead of parameter. VBAK to internal table. Now first this I will remove. Because my class is now AMDP02. Okay. This is the instance creation of AMDP2 class. And now what I will use LR underscore new get underscore orders shift enter see this time we have input table so here I will pass sign mandate and gt underscore vbeln as the table okay and in the output I will get gt underscore order fine sorry data inline declaration here also I have to use gt underscore order okay and remaining part I am keeping as same okay first you have to create the first class mdp01 then, then only you will come to know about this so what I have done I replace the parameter with select options then here I am selecting sales order number from vbak to internal table and this table I am passing as an import to this class method get underscore order details and the output will come in gt underscore order and based on that using slv factory method I am displaying the details so what is the program name zprg demo underscore mdp0 to v1 so save check and activate no error I have some issue executing the program in LDT so I will log into GUI system and from there we will check this so now I am into GUI here we'll go to SE38 this is the new program which I created the old one was 02 only okay where we have only single parameter based on that you can see single sales order number in the output Fine. If there are two line items, we can see two line items. Now what I will do, we have to check our new program, V1. Here we have select option. Okay, so if I enter one, we can see the output of single order. And here, if I select range, let's say up to 50, we can see all the sales orders. Fine, see the output. Because this time the table is going as the input to the class. See, we can see the 100 orders now. I not enable all the filter operation in this SLV. That's why we are not able to see the filters. Otherwise, we can short this in the ascending order. But we can see multiple orders are there. Fine. So in this way, we have learned like how to create a AMDP class with table as the input parameter to the method and based on this input table here in the where clause we are passing that table and based on that we are selecting our data which is coming in the et underscore order output table and based on that we have created one program where we consume this class and we are able to see multiple records. In this way, we're done with this session. Thank you.